go. Hello and welcome to the Ball Plays, what is to be our at every continent speedrun attempt. We might also try and get multicultural if we finish that, which is um, at every continent is have a province on every continent. That is to say, Africa, Europe, Asia, Oceania, North and South America. There is no Antarctica. At every continent. Also, it's worth noting that you only have to own a province. You do not have to core a province. Okay, ready, steady, cook. Very good, we can start deleting these, start hiring people, throw away the bad baby. None of these are accepted cultures except him, so we'll wait. Throw away the bad units. Start replacing them with good units. Uh, we want to ask everyone to pay in the form of birds, or actually admin for the first year or two. Okay. One more. Thank you. Start getting rid of the rest of the horses. Delete the internal forts. The internal forts are a huge waste of money. New baby. New wife. New baby is considerably better than the old baby. I'm already happy with having thrown away the baby. Hey Tackett. Landon Tackett. We are currently trying to own something on every continent as quickly as possible. Check out if this guy has become a evil. He does not look like he's become a pirate. Excellent. Okay. Next. It's a good day to blob. It is a good day to blob. Every day is a good day to blob. We'll take the cash. We'll stop paying for our armies as much. Ramp that up, though. I wouldn't mind one positive stab so that we can start earning um, thingamabob. So that we can start earning... Prosperity. The largest horse massacre. Uh, yep, we've done that, Remy. We've asked them all to do admin so that we can hit hit exploration tech or hit the admin, unlock the admin tech that will give us access to then take exploration. It's okay, don't worry, you're trying to help. It's welcomed. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> it's very much welcomed. You still not being evil? Good. Now, we want to snake up to here. That probably means untributizing you. 
and smacking you for up to here, and then this guy for up to here. I do want to move the fort that we had on the border, or well, actually back in Canton, to here, so that it forms a closed seal. And I want to move the fort that used to be here up to here, because it's a much better province, it's mountains. But other than that, we're happy to turn our forts off. At least until some of the rebels hit, like, 80%. Beautiful. Now, who else do we need to love us? I'll take the free stab. I'll send you a warning so you don't try and eat Corchin. I can't stop everyone else eating Corchin, but I can at least stop Oirat. Start giving them the happiness things. So, free harmony, yes. Happiness, yes. Happiness, yes. The other kind of happiness, yes. Happiness, yes. Stronger trade vote, happiness, yes. And then I most care about the admin and the dip. I need the Shizu to be happier, but I'm not spending points on that. Yep, save up some money. That's very doable. Okay. Might as well leave them on money mode while we're being asked to save up money. Oh, who is... Ayatthaya thinks they're too good for me now. So basically, if I throw money at him, he will pay his taxes again. And that's a way of turning even more monarch points, or even more money into monarch points than um, leveling up these people. We're at two stab, so I'm in a position to activate you and to activate this one. And to activate this one. Making our advisors even cheaper. -er. So, so far we have trading in tea, meritocracy. And the bonus from the estates. Bringing our advisors down to basically half cost. Which is pretty sweet. afford to run level four and five advisors from the get-go. Uh, we have to make sure that the pig worshippers don't get too grumpy, so you know what? They can have their autonomy. Doesn't bother me. There we go, the pig worshippers are quelled. When is our truce with you up? Three years. Now, what else am I going to want? I'm going to want you... Mm. I probably want Korea to stay happy. And I probably want Diviet to stay happy. We wouldn't mind our king dying. Mm, no, I should wait until we've done the Corchin. Corchin and Salon Wars, then we can then we can kill off our king without too much 
too much worry. You could build even more forts, but I'm not interested. Check that he's still not a... Yeah, it looks like he's definitely chosen to stay a, stay not a pirate, which is great. Means I don't have to worry about defending this coast from him and his evil pirating ways. Everyone is happy enough. Yoink. Ming and Qing are... I mean, the advantage of being the other one is that you get banners. And banners are basically even more free manpower. Because they only cost half manpower or whatever to reinforce. Quarter? Is it a quarter or is it a half? I forget. At the cost of reinforcing more slowly. They only cost one quarter of the manpower to reinforce. Yeah, that's their big advantage. So they are essentially manpower free. Mostly. Anyway, what month is the truce with him up? November of one. So in the start of 51, we want to turn on our forts uh, nope but you know what we can do is turn off this and then rely on our stability and high harmony to kill off the corruption Harmony certainly could be higher. Ah, uh, fine, we'll have to pay. Psh, goodbye money. But I'm not paying to replace our guy when we level them up. The mind decided you're not sleepy. One more of those. Well, we finished our uh, Dutch one, Gamer Willem. And now we're doing... On every continent slash trying to see if we can squeeze in multicultural. Which we'll do after every continent. So no more, no more Dutch for us. I don't want to marry you, Korea. We've already done Sinus Apple. China Apple. We have already done China Apple. We started as Boygandy. I'm not spending a thousand ducats on this. Tough. Okay, it's time to raise our maintenance, which means we've got to dial this back or else we start losing too much money. It's not China Apple. Sina means uh, China. And Apple means Apple.
I assumed that it was just a compound word. Where they have mushed together the words for China and Apple as it's originally, um, presumably it originally came from there. September. Seventy five prosperity. Accepted. Okay, I need you to not be friends with him, so... I would need more prestige, you say. Well, where's one of our little bitches? You're gonna give me some artifacts. Usually Ryukyu is a good one. No, no such luck. Anyone? Anyone? Artifacts? Anyone? Cam? Yes, please. What about now? I need to do one more. Chomper? No. Someone. Hi Chi. That'll do. Thank you. Break Alliance. Corchin. Do. Corchin. Kill. Force Tributary status. Go. Makes you wonder why the other orange fruit is called a mandarin. Uh. So, like, Sino, S-I-N-O, means China. And I assume that Apple means Apple. And that it's sort of somehow related to those. And it seems to be playing up that angle, given that it's to do with owning bits of, um, China. Maybe not you, but everyone else can come over here. Yeah, don't stress. I understand what you mean. I'm not a stickler for spelling. If, if the person understood what you meant with the spelling, even if it's wrong, then as far as I'm concerned, language has done the spelling is good enough to have achieved its goal. <laughs> yes, done. Come back here. This, 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 this. And I gotta get ready to eat this guy. So, first thing is we gotta turn you into a tributary, and then we're gonna eat. A nice little string of provinces up to here. And your cookies. Thank you. Corridor. And now this guy needs to learn to pay his taxes, which means we need Hai Chi to break up with Salon. He says no, well then you get to die. Because I want to force his tributary. You get to die. Maybe you should have listened when I said don't be their friend. Why can't we name it the China virus? 
because then you lose all your social credit. And you wouldn't want to lose all your social credit. You wouldn't be able to catch a nice train. Watch social credit. You have a job. You should... You, you have some social credit. You've got a job. You should be right. Uh, I need you to give me your money. And now you're willing to stop being at war with me. You should have just agreed to not go to war with me in the first place, you idiot. And now for this guy, I need to... Demand he gets my tributary and access to over there. And then that gives me range to Klamchatka and then Klamchatka to this guy and then this guy to across there. No, I'm all about credit where credit is due. There's there's things I certainly don't like about the Chinese system, but they have done a very good job of raising a spectacularly huge number of people out of subsistence farming into a better quality of life for those people. Okay, done. Give me those. Okay, some of you have to stay and guard this, but the rest of you should all come back to down here. I mean, it used to be, Gamer Willem, that more or less... 100% of their population, like 95% of their population was subsistence agriculture. It's definitely a lot better than that. Now. On average, definitely a lot better than that. All right, we can turn our maintenance back down until it's time to fight these rebels. Once they hit like 80%, we'll turn it back on. I'm not sure if Wil Wilhelm means during the sort of Great Leap Forward period where they had all sorts of extra trouble with food production and distribution. Which is certainly true. <sighs> hey, Marond. We are Ming. We are... China. We're currently snaking north so that we can jump across here, here, and then down across America. Prosperity everywhere, please. Other than that, we want to get down to Australia. One bit in Africa and one bit in Europe. Now for the Europe bit, we could just snake across here. But I think we can afford to do that after we've unlocked exploration. You're young enough to be worth leveling up once more, but the others I don't really want to level up once more. It's time to take the extra money again. 
go colonize London, you'd have to do a lot of work to colonize London. You can do it. If you start as these tribes, you can eat every single province. <laughs> you could decolonize everything except one province. So you could decolonize London and Roman stuff. A little bit tempting to do a playthrough like that, where you decolonize all of Europe. Okay, those rebels have hit high enough percent that it's time to up that maintenance and get ready to fight them. There's all sorts of nasty species moving across countries that we don't want. That's why we have biosecurity. Don't want foot in, foot, hoof in mouth. What is it called? It's called hoof in mouth? Yeah, hoof in mouth disease traveling around and so on and so forth. Swine flu, bird flu. That happened here, Remy, with uh, the cane toad. The cane toad was brought here to supposedly eat the bugs that would stop um, sugarcane growing. And now it's a horrible invasive species that's killing off lots and lots of native stuff here. Monstrous thing. Okay, and then one, two. Okay, and then we need to explore, so we break you in half. Very good, here, gain, explorer, do, go, explore, wherever. And we should be able to colonize, memory says, here. Once we select that we will kill the natives. And then once we colonize here, we can, Scare him into giving us a province. Iceland's being made less of a desert? Yeah, that sounds like a good thing. If they're managing to have enough plant greenering happening there that it's uh, not so much of a nothingness. Very good, and then the Salon Rebels. Okay, you over to, say, here. Both of these fight this. Definitely the tax modifier. Nutka Lupin. Let me Google that for a sec. Nutka Lupin. Looks a bit like lavender. Hey, yes, yes, they are, Peter Partner. And similarly, Afro-Eurasia is not one continent. Even though in the school of Blobber, I subscribe to the Afro-Eurasia, the Americas, Oceania, Antarctica system of continents. I am a four continent system proponent. Okay, that means now I need to kill you. 
and steal this one, which will then let me get the claim on there. We can get our claim on you, which we then use as a way of getting down to Australia a bit quicker. To force their stuff in South America. Um, my understanding is more that whether you subscribe to which continent system, like, Russia kind of proposes a full continent system and teaches that in school. Which, which system you get taught is, my, my understanding, depends on where you live. Um... Oof. Okay, we can start generating our claim on you. If you aren't connected by land, you're an island. Everything is an island. Okay, that gets, gets us our claim on here that we can threaten war for after this is done. And then we're going to want to raise relation with him so that we can turn him into a tributary as well. There's no more love to be had from Ayanthaya. And then I want this one. So become my little minion but also give me this, so that I can fabricate here. Lots and lots of little islands. If you're in a marshland. Uh, what do we want? We want probably the free war taxes. That saves us a lot of money. It's like two ducats a month. We definitely want the extra range. Go explore using this extra range. And it looks like we want another person to go explore even more. Go explore wherever that is. Take the gain in mandate. Yep. The game's trying to tempt me into doing that, but I should actually dev push the renaissance. Hello, doggo. Wanna come in? Hello. Hello, girl. Who's a good girl? You are a good girl. Doggo, doggo is coming to say hello. Oh. Yeah, you can see Doggo's head. Doggo is saying hello. Okay, go on, girl. She is back from her trip to the vet yesterday and she is happy and healthy. So we are very happy. No complications with her desexing. Threaten war, give Milata Datu. Thank you, call that. Turn you into a tributary. She is just the littlest bit grumpy, though, that she isn't allowed uh, outside at the moment. At least not for very long, because she's meant to be keeping her uh, incision site clean. Doggo gives chat at least plus 20 improved relations. Okay, we declare that we want to eat you. Done. And then these go to here, please. Uh, colonize or colonize something in no. Do some manpower dev is acceptable. 
depending on where you want it. Okay, be a happy, happy estates. Go explore wherever. Yeah, she's not happy that she's not allowed outside at the moment, even though it's time to go feed the horses their dinner. <sighs> okay, and then you here. And those there, and that will do. Next, go explore wherever. So this should let us reach Australia. Now once I eat you, I also need here. So I would like you to explore... I don't yet have range there, fair enough. East China Sea Coast, go go. Brunei can probably afford to pay in Monarch points. And we should swap everyone over to paying in birds. At least for a bit. Doggo blessed the chat. She blesses my life. She is a blessing. Eastern Indian, wherever that is. And once you're done, how does paying with birds work? Um, so for Ming tributaries, Ming and hordes can make tributaries. Tributaries will either pay you manpower or mill if they're small. If once they're like 20 dev or more, oh sorry, 33, it used to be 20. Um, if they're 30, 33 or more dev, then you can ask them to pay in Monarch points based on how big they are. So for example, Ryukyu has five devs, so we can't ask for this, but Ayatthaya has 200, so we get six, because six times 33 is 180, but he's not quite up to seven yet. Okay, and then we... I'm going to have to wait for this core to finish before I can core this. And so Ming can use that to uh, boost their... Ming and Hordes can use that to boost their um, manpower or their cash or their Monarch point generation. I know it's not fair, doggo. No, I don't want to marry you. Yeah, you can get plus one. Well, at the moment, at the moment, we're getting six per year from Ayatthaya. So that's half of one a month. We're getting two from Brunei. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that's one, one, one a month. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 80, 19, 20. We're not quite getting two per month, but something like this. You would like this UI to be improved? You don't like this? I mean, you can hover, and then it tells you, they will give you five, they will give you two, they will give you six, they will give you three. Mm, great temple. Oh, yes, there's no way of, um, no. That's, 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 you ask for forbidden things. We're not allowed such niceties. Gain the prestige. No, sorry, gain the stability, not the prestige. And then this core finishes, and then we can do here. You ask for quality of life. 
Mm. I mean, I usually just look at the number at the end of the year and calculate if I care. Here, explore, wherever. Here, explore, wherever. And if this core could bother finishing, please. Okay, I should be able to reach over here now. Game. Game. Oh my gosh, it's slightly too far away still. Really? Really? What about you? But I can't... I can't get a CB on you. What about Advisor Man? Would Advisor Man get us the rest of the way? Hmm. Nope, because 10 extra percent's only 20. So Advisor Man won't get us the rest of the way yet. That is awkward. What am I going to do about this? No, but Vassal is the opposite of what I want to do. I want to eat him. I suppose what I could do is... We're just going to have to let him go free because he's causing me war exhaustion for the moment. But, um... That's very rude of you. Uh, what we could do instead is do Ainu and try and get to here. Whoops. I accidentally moved the window instead of... Yeah, that'll work. And then once I have this, I'll definitely be able to get up to there. Milcap, thank you. I don't really want to take that. What I want to do is dev push the next institution. So we go to the salt. We go to the dev cost. And we say, let there be a salty abundance. There we go. And then we turn this off when we're allowed. I'm already at full meritocracy. I'm already at full mandate. Neither of those are very useful. Pay the money, lose the war exhaustion that we got for staying at war. You go repair yourself. D black, no. D black flag. In fact, both of you can D black flag. Who's not paying their taxes? Is it you again? Courtian. Well, make you happier. Hai Chi needs to be retributized. Which we'll do once we've stolen this island.
I hear rebels, but I don't see rebels. Ah, there. Sure, we'll deal with them after this war. Doggo. Hello, girl. I know you want to go outside, but you're not allowed to. Oh. Hello, girl. Hello, girl. Hmm? <laughs> you're not allowed to. Okay. Tributize. Steal that one province. Dumb. I know you want to go again. Okay, go on. Okay, and that one should get us where we want there. You guys go fix that silly province over here. But you also need to repair a little bit. Uh, it's pr probably Japan, yeah. Okay, and then down to here. And then finally fix that. Can't believe that date's come again already. Oh, <gasps> she barked. She she almost never barks. She is definitely not happy about being needing to be inside. Morning, Solar. Uh, anyway, we're meant to do you while we're at peace again, but we can't because you're at war. She barked at you. Uh, I don't think so. She's she's standing by the door saying, I want to go out and see, see the horses. It's time to do the horses. But she's not allowed outside and to get dirty at the moment. So that she doesn't get her incision infected. Oh, she barked the second you loaded the screen. Okay. No, explore, wherever. What we can do is generate a claim here. Because once this core is done, I can colonize here. And that should let me eat both of these. I only really need Chukchki though. Yeah, I know what you mean. It was it was clear what you meant, Salah, don't stress. How's our uh, harmony going? It is high enough that we can say harmonize pig. Yep, get ready for yoinking those people across to kill Chuchki. I don't actually care about these provinces. They can have their autonomy. I don't care. <sighs> We definitely aren't going to have enough light ships for that. Not as it stands. Come over here. And then actually come over here, because we might be able to get slightly further into America.
I don't need the money. And I don't need the manpower from these provinces. So autonomy may be raised in this situation. Okay, I do want the first one of these, but none others. Trade the ducats for mandate. Try and get back up to 50 as soon as possible. Thank you. We're barely going to be below 50 for any time at all now. But we're not going to... Uh, I have to pay the stab. We're not going to trigger that disaster. When that, that disaster won't happen till age two, and we're only going to do the one reform. If these could get here. Uh, no, if you could go there. Okay, we can recall here, colonize there. Oh, come on. Oh, no, it's just that the Kurils isn't finished yet. I assumed the Kurils was done. My bad. My bad. Fine. But because this one is done, I can probably reach Australia now. Almost. Okay, I'm going to need to do one more province that's not quite Australia. We'll do Cream. No, we'll do Buru. Buru will do. -ru. Uh, same thing with the Kurils. You can have your autonomy. I don't care. Cultural acceptance. Whatever. Same with you. How is that spreading going? We could turn on the uh, spread speed modifying thingamig. Yes, please. In all of them. Okay, and then I want you there. And then from there, I definitely can reach over here. Unless Papua New Guinea counts as Oceania. That does. Is that in range? No. So, Buru, Oceania, done. Wait for this core and then see if we can't explore up this way a bit more. Okay, call back, call back, call you back as well, so that we're ready to start this. Now I can reach this guy, but not you. And then these ones. Okay. And here. And declare that they're both tasty. And then you. Looks good. And then patience, and that gets us here. And from there to America.
kind of want slightly higher level you and even higher level you. We also wouldn't mind our king dying now. But only really when we're at peace. happen in time. <sighs> Go explore wherever. This appears to be stuck. Like it said it was going to go do other things, but it's not doing anything. Yeah, it appears to be very, very bugged slash stuck. Normally this only happens if the um explorer dies, so I'm I am a bit puzzled. Do you really think you can win that? Okay, let's get ready. Four, five. I don't see how it could be a range thing. Oh, those need fixing. Go all the way up to there. All the way up to there. Yeah, usually I've only ever seen that happen before where uh, an explorer dies partway through exploring and the boats sort of get confused about what they should do. Trade the meritocracy for the mandate. Now it's dead. I'm not losing admin power for it, no thank you. And then if this would finish, please. Oh, come on, 42, 42, 42, 42. Thank you. So I want to eat this. I don't really care about that, but we'll eat it anyway. 
And then I want to eat you. Yes, this guy surrendered before these guys. Which is why I was complaining about that 42. Okay, we can get rid of this. I can call that. I no longer need to colonize that. Oh my god. Quit it with the pop-ups at the moment. There we go. <sighs> this core will finish, then that core, and then we can jump across to here. Yes, they can all have their cultural acceptance. They can all have their autonomy. Could care less. Which are uh, definitely pushing things this month. They like this month. Synergy month. What ads are you getting, Battleship? How I'm endlessly getting ones for Uncle Toby's oat balls. <laughs> Which I will never ever purchase just to just to dis Because of how often I'm getting the ad. <laughs> At least I know of them. Yeah, I have a... Uh... There isn't actually like zero ad setting, but then they force certain amounts of ads on you. Oh. What the heck, Raging Willem? Oh. He, don't, Salah, calm down. He meant with the, he meant about the, uh, Uncle Toby's oat balls. That isn't the, <clears throat> that isn't the approach that the, uh, oat ball ad goes. It's not quite that level of weird. Instead, it has some, um, influencer that I don't know who they are, and I tried looking them up, and they don't seem to actually be an influencer, at least. Yeah, that was just confusing. But anyway, they have someone who seems to be like an influencer, being like, it's the perfect snack for whilst I'm gaming. <laughs> None of these really matter. I want max level for you, though. When was the last time I had a Golden Gay Time ice cream? Hmm. I don't know. If I get fancy ice creams, I tend to get, um, Magnums. Maybe seven or eight years ago? Like, if I'm going to the beach and want fancy ice cream at beach. Typically the Magnum things. Or a drumstick. Drumsticks are simple. They're not really fancy. They're fairly simple, but they're nice. 
Okay, yes please. And then we can take tech without feeling like I am being a bad person. Good luck getting to sleep this time, gamer Will. Better luck than last time. Well, in any case, we could begin the great exploration of um, America, so if you guys would like to move over there, please. Uh, it's probably a case of, you know, don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you got till it's gone. Now, if you took away my Tim Tams, then there'd be a problem. Take the stab. Get these off onto America and exploring. Start the next one. See if you now have extra range. Alas, no. The Tim Tams are sacred. Okay, you go auto explore. The other one can wait. Come back home. Come back home. You here, you there. Down here. Okay, now that we basically have America and Oceania on lockdown, it's time to think about Africa and Europe. Purchase the mandate. Which means that these two are going to need to come over here ready for killing Oirat. Because we are going to tentacle our way across to Europe. Oof. If anyone touches my Tim Tams, I'll murder someone. Not quite, but I could sure murder some Tim Tams. I'm a little bit hungry at the moment. Okay, how much progress have you actually made exploring over here? Disturbingly little. Yes, please, to more tax. Uh... Probably the autonomy change? And then what do we want here? Quantity would be in its own way nice. In any case, we've clearly got enough money, so let's swap these over to paying us in people. The penguin? Penguin is a biscuit? What is a penguin? You see, you say penguin, I think the animal. Because there are some within driving distance of me. Like, we'll go for a day trip to beach that isn't nearby that has penguin. It's like an hour's drive away or something. Hour and a half drive away. <laughs> a 
Okay, that's enough happy that we can yoink again. Now we've fixed our autonomy problem. Now, what was it? Penguin Biscuit. Ah! They look like Tim Tams. The penguin is slightly longer. The penguin is reportedly crunchier, although more sugary and cloying than the Tim Tam, which has more cocoa and so a distinct smooth texture. <laughs> ay ay ay. They're probably both very nice. Having never had a penguin. Did they? Ours aren't the original and the best? I'm disappointed. Okay. And if this core is done, can we finally colonize here? Ignoring the fact that two of you are supposed to live here and that the rest of you need to remerge and split because some of these have died at an inconvenient time. Ah, uh, no, these are cookies. These are cookies, Salah. These are biscuits. We would say biscuit because they're not round and crumbly. Nope, we can't reach there, so we might as well go back to doing uh, this one while we wait. Chunk. Go explore wherever. You sure you don't want me to be able to reach here? Oh, we could actually reach that one, and that counts, so okay, no, new, 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 new task, sorry, none of that. Buru, sorry, no. Done. I mean, it helps Battleship how that the AI doesn't have to deal with natives. So if you, the player, want to go exploring, you need to send, like about a five or a six stack. Otherwise, when you fight the natives, you'll have unpleasantness. But the AI just never, ever, 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 ever has to fight the natives. So it's not an issue for them. So they can send like a two stack off exploring and a one stack off exploring the wilderness and explore in like six different directions at once because of it. Okay, in any case, it's time to do Oirat. Go. You to there. You get your Itsa gear out. Oh my god, I start doing this and suddenly you have 8 million events! Okay, get Zaibei out. Thank you. You go explore that one. I could choose the colonize slower, but the AI is allowed to colonize quickly and not have natives. They cheat. Go explore Beijing. Ah, sorry, help, help, um, help trade power in Beijing. Okay, we're now officially in North America. Oh, 
All seems good so far. That should be enough to get rid of you. Goodbye. Turn you into a tributary again in a bit. You still get native revolts? They have just so many plus native revolt modifiers. Okay. And gain colony. And now if you are set to this, they don't look like they're going to get stuck on the same solution. Do whatever you like. Do whatever you like. Do whatever you like. Do whatever you like. That's annoying. How about no? There's a reason I have a fort line and it's not so that you can be inside my land. Yurit Sagir wants out. How about you give me your cookies and I'll send this guy a warning so that he doesn't eat them. While we wait to tributize them again. How about you go get the one that's not occupied? Silly auto... City, silly, silly, silly auto mover. Uh, I want you to go explore the fog. You still have 50% chance based on native aggression. Well, sounds like they've overtuned the aggressiveness. You go do what you want. No! Ugh. Stupid. Grrr. Grrr. You go guard the capital. You go get that one. Same with you. So with 12% aggression provinces, you will always have 6% chance of revolt, even with coexistence. He's saying the dwarves effectively have a a plus native revolt built-in modifier. Is what he's saying. It doesn't mean 0% chance if they have a plus modifier. Because minus 100 plus something will be plus the something. Do -do -do -do. So say it was minus 100, but the dwarves had a built-in plus 50, then you'll be at 50% chance. <clears throat> the same as um, minus 100% gold mine depletion doesn't mean your gold mine will never deplete. It means that eventually you stack your gold mine up to more than 100% chance of depletion per year, and it will start depleting. Okay, now what do I actually want? Well, I want you to be my subject, and then I want to connect a trail of provinces across to Uzbek, and then from Uzbek to Russia. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Yeah, and it's got really nice riding. From what I've seen, it has really nice event riding. I haven't seen very much, but what I saw, I can certainly say, gets the Blobber seal of approval for EU4 mod writing. As in the in-game flavor text on text boxes and the little stories that are happening. <laughs> and then down there. Please go into the fog. The sooner you're in the fog, the sooner we're allowed to peace out because we know what the province names are. <laughs> uh, I could also try and convince you to give me maps. That would work. I'm at war with your friend. Oh no, you don't like me. Okay, then we can suck up to you. I can also see if he'll give me maps. You love me. Doesn't want to give me maps. What if we got a dip rep guy? Oh, I'm willing to try the dip rep guy. Please give me the maps. Thank you. I want maps of Central Asia. I want maps of also dip points. I want maps of... Whatever up here is. Siberia? No, no, no. I want maps of West Siberia. Thank you. And we might as well ask for the rest of the maps while we're no, now he doesn't want to give me the maps anymore. Well, that's not very nice. Anyway, that'll do. So, this, this, stretch all the way across to Uzbek. Done. Commence the snake coring. And then... Next comes his back. Ready, steady. What? How do I have a truce with you? Who are you even friends with? Well, I'm uh, very surprised. Who was he friends with? Who else has the same truce in that year? Somehow... Boy Rat? How? You're not a subject of Boy Rat. He was allied with Boy Rat? Okay, I thought only Kazan was in the war. My bad. Well then, we'll go down through Chugtai, Kiva, no guy. Maybe. I can certainly get a claim and we can look at doing that. So we go down there. Then there, and then no guy. And then Crimea, and that gets us, that gets us to Europe. How's this going? No, they're both stuck on the same answer. God damn them. One of you go that way, the other there. And that is growing, so that's fine. You come down to say there. So Asia, tick, Oceania. What happened to my colony on? 
Peru? Well, can we reach Australia now? Does it become not a problem? Yes, it becomes not a problem, so we don't care. You, recall. Instead. I'm not allowed to do that because technically the colonist is stuck under this. This is one of the other ways that the AI cheats. They can recall their colonist when that happens, and you cannot. And I find it aggravating that they cheat so. What's this? Oh, them again. Uh, yeah, that's not really acceptable. You you go fix this. No, boats. Stop, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Come back here so that you can fix that. How was Cherokee? It had a very painful end, Primal Panda, but we got there. So waddle from here to here, then walk from there to there and fix that. Thank you. Half of you, go fix this, please. Gain harmonization progress. And then I want you to live, say, there. It is within range, so we're fine. As soon as this is freed up. We got our claim on Chugtai. I want this give. There we go. You across to here, go. <clears throat> ah, no, I'm not much for drinking. I am not much of one for drinking. Australia Day, a wedding, a birthday, otherwise, eh. Eh. Go clear that up, thank you. <laughs> oh, Monarch points. Monarch points. Go, go. And now we've fixed this, so our colonists should actually be back, so we can actually start this one. Thank you. And your job is done. Head back to our actual there. If they even survive, they may not survive that trip. Yes, one more for you. And now there. Now, I want this, this, this. Actually, that, that. I didn't realize Kiva was a subject. Okay, we're going to need to siege down Kiva. Because he has to be absorbed in this war as well. No one gets any land. Did our boats make it back or did they die? They made it back. Good for them. And then this will finish. And then they are not needed here anymore. So if you could make your way to say here. <sighs> Isn't no guy an ally, ally too? Yes, but a five year truce is livable. I can eat this in this war as well. Also, there's other ways of getting it, no guy. None of them are good, but there are other ways of getting at him if we really cared. Here and there. Gain monarch points, yes please. You go deal with that, you go deal with that. Take the ducats. Mm. 
give them the leader, take the ICA. Just in case they're more competitive than I think they'll be. Now, Kiva is going to be unfortunately expensive. Oof, 30%. Actual serious question. I'm not sure whether you'd be allowed to discuss this, but why is a skewback screw quieter than a regular bladed screw? Furthermore, why are pump jet propulsors quieter than traditional screws in general? Or is it more the shrouding than the actual method of propulsion that affects the submarine noise level? So for for most large watercraft, without mentioning any specific kind of craft, the um the issue in question with regards to making noise is that the fan, the prop, the fan, develops so much of a pressure difference. From side to actually that's getting worryingly close to succeeding from side to side that it causes the water the water traversing it to cavitate the water literally boils because of the pressure difference in the same way that um water has a different boiling point on different planets under different pressures and temperatures the pressure that's present on a really big, 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 strong, um, a really big, strong prop is enough to allow the water to boil and bubble. Um, those bubbles then when they return to the normal water that isn't under the effect of the huge amount of pressure caused by the, the prop burst. And that bursting is a very distinct and easy to recognize noise. Um, get rid of you. So typically in terms of making such a thing quieter, you are in the first instance looking to minimize that cavitation, um, either by reducing the absolute pressure drop, but maintaining a certain amount of power through other ways, either larger surfaces or fancy tricks to try and delay the onset of cavitation. Um, the easiest thing is usually just to drive your, your vehicle slower when you don't need to and only go extra super full, fat, full power fast when you need to. And that way you will not be causing cavitation most of the time. But if you, oh, game freeze, it's thinking, it's thinking. But if you want to, you have the ability to go quicker and know that you will cause noise. Ah, we've got an internet drop. No! Oh. Come on. Come on, quit trying to use the, and frigging use the internet that is available. Use it. Oh, there we go. Was, whoa. Is that the... Okay, we're back. Thankfully, I'm local recording, so it isn't too much of a an issue in terms of the speed run. Sorry about that. I also want this. Thank you. Okay, and that one. 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 Then we get rid of this. And then we sit and we wait for no guy. Uh, so where was I? You... You therefore get your, well, you therefore usually try and run the system. That one, that one, that one, that one. 
at a slower pace that doesn't cause the, um, Marinette? You missed all of the explanation? Oh, it makes it seem like they were, um... <laughs> yeah, it makes it seem like they were, uh... <laughs> redacting my answer. The Australian government inserted their hand into the internet system and said, Nope, you, you aren't allowed to talk about that. <laughs> a little suspicious, a little suspicious. Uh, nope, that's all good. We can get rid of this. And then, what was it? So, why are pump jet propulsors just quieter? No. Cavitation and preventing it. Um. And why is a screw back screw quieter? Well, from what I'm seeing of an image search of a screw back screw, it, it very much looks like it's trying to prevent um, tip effect stuff. Just looking at it, I look at that and I see it's trying to do something to the tip of the blade. Um, to minimize nasty stuff happening there. Because that looks a lot like the, um, fan prop sort of stuff you get on, on airplanes at the, where they're high transonic, um, high transonic engines. And they're, they're trying to do that exact same thing. And those blades look terribly similar. but I am not a specific expert on that. My my work was on, my PhD work was on how do you predict how much noise will be from one of those blades rather than then using that to um, actually make quieter blades. That was in other people's hands. Yes, please. Pump submarine secrets, pump jets, and propellers explained. These five secret things about pump jets will amaze you. Go. These ones got black flagged. You're gonna have to come back here and de black flag. Uh, yeah, Marand. I am, I am correctly or formally addressed as doctor, but eh, eh, I'm just this guy, you know. It was something very interesting to do, and I mostly enjoyed it. Okay, this one actually doesn't need to be done quickly, so we should be calling this back and instead speeding up the America one. Yes, we can build a temple. My last name is Et Al. I am the most published author in history. <laughs> you appreciate the answer? Well, I... I try to do what I can. I don't claim to be all knowledgeable about these things, but I certainly have more knowledge than most people on in that field. Certainly more than the average person walking along the sidewalk.
other than cavitation, what other nice things are there? So here, where we are in Australia, in certain parts of the US too, um, there's really significant background noise from snapping shrimp. They're these little shrimp that have a claw that's designed in such a way that as they close their claw, it creates a high speed jet of water that they shoot at their prey. And it's so quick that it's sonic boomy and it actually stuns their prey. And these little shrimp, while they're making their little shrimpy shrimpy noises, make so much noise that it like raises the average background sound level to horrendous levels. There's nothing to do there. So I guess we can go do some dev or some culture conversions. Fix the meows. I don't know if they're strong enough at, oops, not that one, um, swimming that they cause boiling water on their tails, but they definitely do with their little, their little clawy thing. It's a, it's a huge problem. Uh, you two aren't allowed to go to war with each other. Neither are you. I'm going to send all these people warnings so that they don't. Ah, okay. Yes. Not their tail. You meant their their claws. Then that's yes, that's 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 accurate. Warning. 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 I needed you to be my little bitch again, except that you've become Chug Ty's little bitch. <sighs> Fine, whatever. You're Chug Ty's now. How long till our truce with Nagai? September. So it's not actually very long. See how far we can reach once this is done. I'm hoping most of the way down to Mexico. And it's time for these to... Actually, they're kind of along the Nogai border already. And they actually... The, the snappy, shrimpy things, they actually kind of sound like boiling bacon. Or like frying bacon. Okay, we should be able to do this now. Unfortunately, this brings us into conflict with Chug Tai once more, but whatever. Those can guard these. If memory serves, ambient noise is a serious problem for sonar operators in the Antarctic because of cracking ice. True! And carving of icebergs from ice sheets, it's so incredibly loud that it can drown out even the relatively noisy diesel subs. True. True, 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 true. And it also makes things more complex because, um... So... If you're a sonar operator, the physics of how the sound propagates changes when it's bouncing off underwater ice compared to bouncing off the um the water surface so it can change how far away things how far away you might expect or you, you might calculate things to be if you were treating the ice or the reflections coming off of the ice as if they're water Half of you there, half of you there.
And it's not like calculating those reflections is easy even for normal water. There's all sorts of variables. The temperature, the salinity. Ugh, there's like 20 terms, I think, in the like most most full model. How much of various different kinds of salt there is in it. Pressure, temperature, salinity. Ugh. I'm glad, I'm glad I don't have to deal with that. Fiendishly difficult. When I was working, I was more close to the equivalent of the guy that walks around with a, a noise level meter and says, you know, this doesn't meet OHS requirements than person trying to do those fancy models. Does sound propagate? Oh yeah, it totally does, Battleship How. Um, that is one of the big ways of how you get long distance sound propagation. So, um, Although we typically treat water as incompressible in an everyday sense, as in, if you have one litre of water, you apply force to it, you can't really squish it down to be less big. That isn't quite true at the scale of the oceans. Um, density does change as a function of depth, and not just because of temperature, um, but also because of temperature. But between temperature change and density change, you can end up with what are essentially... Um, tubes, if you want to think of them that way, um, like a hallway of echoes where the sound will propagate down to this level and then get stuck along a certain band of temperature slash pressure and it will just keep propagating along that for a really long distance rather than spreading out equally in all di directions and um, losing, sort of losing strength. And that's how you get really, really, really long range communication in, um, yes, a thermal layer. And that's of course gonna vary with location in the world, how deep the sea is, the season. It's uh, not quite as fiendishly difficult as that full model, but another, another complexity. Okay, so for this, I want you tributize and then I want this, 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 this. And I can't tell until this falls, so we have to wait for this to fall. But yes, normally like sound goes in all directions evenly, but under the influence of the uh, pressure and temperature gradients, it can bend in certain directions the same way that um, like you put light in a prism and it bends. And that bending can end up with it being focused to propagate over long distances. Isn't the water temperature below 200 meters stable at around 4C? Uh, yes, the temperature largely, it changes for the first like order of tens of meters, and then below that it stays relatively stable, but pressure is still changing. Pressure is still changing, and those two factors both both cause the bending of the sound waves. And so the interplay between those two factors of temperature typically goes high, low, stable, and the ever-increasing pressure. I won't, I won't do that. And here, and then here, and then here, and here. We really need this one to fall. Yes, a hundred million years ahead of time.
And it looks like our America one is done. So we can try and come down to... I was hoping to get a bit further than that. Game. Are you really done? Yeah, you're really done. Well, how far can we reach? We can only reach to here. Then there is where we reach. We're going to need to do one more jump to get down to Mexico. Okay, and then move up. Now, hopefully you aren't vassalized by... Yes! He's not yet vassalized by the Ottomans. So, all of these, please come over here and get ready for doing the Nogai War. Or the follow-up war after this one. To eat Crimea. And then from Crimea, we can reach across to Africa. No, don't surrender. And then I want that. Thank you. Corridor. Our tentacle grows longer. Although that looks disturbingly Muscovite. No guy hates me forever. <clears throat> but I might be able to convince Kazan to give me the maps I want. <sighs> China must grow larger. Hmm. You think it's the Great Horde? That looks potentially Muscovite colour to me. But we'll see. <clears throat> grumble, 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 throat, throat, throat. What happened? I'm sure I sent this here. And then... Money. <clears throat> I'm willing to throw money and money and money at Kazan to get the vision I want. One sec. Oh, cough, 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 cough. Okay. And now, other kind of money. And guarantee their existence. Oh, nah. Occupied by the Great Horde. How is correct? This must be Great Horde. And unfortunately, this has just been nommed by the Ottomans, which isn't a good sign. I much preferred that when that was Crimean. Threatened? Well, what if I said I'm friends? Now could I have those maps? Uh, I'm snaking further because I want to touch the Mediterranean so that I can then do Africa from there. Pitchy. And I don't actually know if this is Europe yet. Okay, these ones are Europe, yes. Give me maps of the Pontic Steppe. Thank you. Oh, and it looks like I was right to be afraid of Muscovy. And it also looks like the Ottomans maybe already have... No, I need this. So I will try to threaten war for that one. And then we'll do Circassia. I would also like vision of... Whatever this is, it's the Caucasus, yeah. Thank you. <sighs> Russia could be useful against the Turk. I'm hoping that if I go snipe this quickly enough. Or 
or maybe that. Yeah, probably this, then this. Then I'll be able to get what I want. Core. You are going to join the other in exploring. Looks good. Before you leave, damn it, I was going to say kill those off, but whatever. You, here, there, take those. And then it's time to move everyone over so that we can do Mexico Wars. Group, 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 group. And then I'm going to want claim on you. So we should start generating the CB. Uh, no, because I won't be able to... I will be able to take this land, but I won't be able to take anything else because I wouldn't be able to core that. I don't have... Yeah, 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 yeah. We gotta reconnect our snake. Our snake is disconnected at the moment. It's causing us problems. I'm like, why can't I core this? Because it doesn't actually have a connection to my capital because the connection to the capital is interrupted by the rebel-occupied provinces. Okay, give it a sec. See if he's going to give in to this threat. If you could reoccupy that province so that I can then threaten it out of you. Thank you. And now I don't need another claim. Kazan requests my help in the Great Horde Reconquest. Yeah, okay. Whatever. Whatever makes you happy, Kazan. Uh, do you know what? Could I have access? I'll kill your rebels for you, because I'm just that nice a guy. And then cancel the access. And then I want that province. <laughs> the cost of killing the rebels is you will give me the province. Please. Morning, Dark Young. And then here. Cancel the access. Lose the mandate. Check that these are both behaving. Good. One more month and we should get this claim. <sighs> Thank you. And then we'll see if you'll give in to the threat. I can't until this war is over. True. Could you peace out then? Or else I'll just leave the war. There. That's your fault for dragging on the war unnecessarily, Kazan. Now, I want this province. Give. Thank you. Okay, and we now have our Mediterranean port. From here, we work out how we can get across to Africa. Colonialism born in China? I didn't pay attention. Yep, colonialism is born in China. Screw you, Europe.
<laughs> Core. Monarch points. So we're going to need to build this here, and then I'm going to need to have my explorey boats ready. So these guys. Can we do the Mediterranean now? Not really. Well, let's build another set of them then. Uh, one is going to need to guard that. Oh my god. Event, 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 event. Please, game. Enough. You know what, Kazan? You have maybe spent your usefulness. Unless you're going to give me maps of the Mediterranean. Fine. Then I, I will allow you to live a little bit longer. What? Oh my god, colonialism spread to them quicker than to me? Really? Yeah. Well, good for you. Good for you, Korea. Advisor cost, 110% advisor cost. He's already started making his way down here. Wait for them to, uh, reinforce. How's our Australia colony going? Finished? Okay, so... One... Two... Three... Four... We still need South America, and we still need Africa. Yemen is one that makes sense, and if we can build enough transports to get across to Yemen, then we will use them. So you love me enough that I can have naval access and we can use Yemen. Vassalize Yemen and then maybe try the return core trick. Although I'm not 100% certain if that works on the patch that I'm in. I think it still does. I think it doesn't work on the newest patch. Wait for that core to finish. And then we can send you to the Mediterranean. Uh, other than that, we wanted this, this, and this to merge together over here, say. And then to grab... Ugh, not again. You... Actually, no. Both of you head down here. I don't care about that. That doesn't matter anymore. You guys can deal with this if you particularly care. Go explore wherever. 
go explore Mediterranean. Okay. Excellent. You and you and you all merge. You value your freedom. We are a powerful wizard, aren't you, Wiz? You should be able to escape the bathroom. It's a simple magic trick. You have fresh air again. Uh, see if there's any more of these that we can do. Not really, but that bought us at least a little time. Yes to that. And that actually makes makes us have even fewer point cap. <sighs> I don't care. I just don't want to be hitting the point cap. There's nothing to be gained there except potentially using it as a dip bank. Okay, that looks like it's almost all been dealt with, except that one. Our trip to the Mediterranean is progressing nicely. And this is, of course, entirely how the mechanic is supposed to work. The fact that my naval range lets me explore here means that boats from here can go... ...all the way through thousands of miles without supply. To get over to here where they do have supply. And it's not cheating. Totally not cheating. Go explore wherever. Go explore wherever. So here, here, up there, up to Venice. Now, um, have these arrived? They have. So if you could all hop on the transports. And if those transports would be allowed access in VJ. He won't give me fleet basing rights. I'm going to have to throw some money at him. <clears throat> now he'll let me have fleet basing rights. Rest. Rest and repair before you progress across to eat or to vassalize Yemen. Go explore Mediterranean coast. Very good. Like two more months. One more month. Please stop telling me about those. Okay, and now Yemen. Stab is for chumps. Also, that does give me something to dump the uh, admin points. The heck? Hop on the boats, dump the admin points in. Mahra, I would like access, please and thank you.
here, there, and then presumably as many mercenaries as we need. Looks good so far. Now, the reason that we want Yemen is that there is a little trick to do with when you use return core. I've actually got the money for that this time. Really? But my boats are here. Oh, we don't have enough boats. Boo! Okay, and they're all dead now anyway. Rip uh, or rip navy. Actually, come back here. Because if they're quick enough, then we might be able to solve it that way. There we go. Not all the navy is dead. Beautiful. Only most of it is dead. <sighs> okay, get you out. Yes, goodbye to you. Kick back out across to here. Boom, boom. And now a doll. Um, that's going to be much more difficult to do. We're going to have to wait for this to reinforce. How is the colony over here doing? Okay, then we can come here, and then finally it's South America. Oof. You have the good good admiral. I don't need to buy off Kazan. How many boats do my enemies actually have? Nowhere near enough. So yes, once these are more than like... Nah, I should wait for at least 80% repair. But then we can move across to Adal, kick him out, vassalize him, and then vassalize him and use the return core trick. Assuming that it still works. I do get a little messed up about which patches it works in and not. You need a new one of this so that you can go up to Dawasia. You, please don't be black black. Head over to here. One more month and we'll absolutely go for it. Go explore wherever. Go explore Caribbean. I don't know how you can possibly reach the Caribbean from there, but okay. Go explore that. Pop out. Kill. Come across. Kick a dial out. Okay, and then this and this and see if he'll leave. Good day to you.
lose the mandate. We're at full mandate, so it doesn't matter. And then go help this. Why not? Yes to ICA. Not quite yet, but soon. Maybe rebuild a transport fleet so that we can transport units across to help with America. I thought I told you all to get over there. Oh, we've cancelled access because it would be convenient for you. Well, get the cannons over there. Push out Dawasir, vassalize Yemen. Unless Yemen's already willing to give in. Which he actually is, so okay. Turn back around. Get rid of this. I said, all of you, get out. I don't need to be paying for a VJ boat thingy anymore, so no. 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 Okay, now you, who is the next best target? So who do you have cause on that I'm willing to... I don't want to do you. I would rather do this guy. Yeah, this guy looks like the go. Sorry, sucks to be you, but I want those core backs. Return core, this. And then we'll see if this little trick still works on this patch. If not, we'll have to work out some way of attacking Tunis and using the coring range from here to here. Boom, boom. Actually, no, that's not good enough, because this is Asia, not... Well, that would let me then yoink the province, and then from here I could go across to there to Africa, so that, that almost does what we want. It's just one extra step. Okay, so let's look if the trick works. What we want is for you to return that, and then I am allowed to take this. So even though I cannot core this, I am allowed to take that there. But that isn't the one I want to take. I want to take this one, which is on the coast. And then I'm going to want to claim on you. And then we're going to want to go kill you. Except that that's not adjacent to any core, right? Well, I'm allowed to take it anyway. Okay. Oh, this counts as Asia. Yes, okay. Fine, that counts as Asia and I'm, I'm being silly. You can use that. What I did there, though, will work, or at least I think it should work in, in Africa. Not that I need to, because now we have this. We can just go here. And he might even give in to the threat without even actually needing to go to war with him. We'll see. This guy needs to love us more, though. He's quite grumpy. Is this colony finally finished? Yes, it is. So can we reach down to, say, here? Perfect. Could we reach even further? Not yet. So here... Then we attack this guy, core one, and use that to get down there. So we need an army that's going to come across to... to America. And then I need a claim on those guys. <sighs> um... I'll wait till Ethiopia gives in to my threat before I delete those armies, otherwise I might need them there. Caribbean coast is fine. 
Southwest Pacific is fine. Indian Ocean is fine. We wouldn't mind faster spy speed. And there is one, so do it. Because what I want is this quicker. And then all of these go to there, and then to there, and then to here. Okay, in theory I can do you, but in practice not until more army is over there. Yes, 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 good. I should have realised that this was the right way to come over here earlier, but whatever. This is definitely the right way to get get the Africa thing happening. Okay, give me my claim. See if you'll give it to me. Give or die. I would like you to explore the... Northeast Pacific Sea, please. So that the transports can take the units across to America. Now I would like you to give in to my threat. I can't core it yet. Fair enough, I need to wait for this core. That, that. I am patient enough for that. No, I don't even want to be your friend anymore. You can't give me anything useful. Quit mooching off me. Okay, get as many as we can. Come on, merge. Get as many as we can at least across to here. And then from here to there. And hopefully by the time they get there, these will have been uncovered. We can get our claim on Zalex Koso. Go, explore, wherever. Sure, search for the Kingdom of Sanguine. Okay, and then here to here. Yes, there we go. We've got partial connection. Although it's very roundabout. Give it a month or two more and we should be good. Okay, and then you down to here, and then we can declare war on the Mexicans. Although we want to wait for this core to be finished and to threaten war for the Ethiopian thing, because otherwise I don't know if I'm allowed to delete these. Okay, and then you back to here, here, here. Ready, steady, wait for that core, it's only two more to go. Thank you, give me that threat. Thank you, I'm now in Africa. And finally we need to get to South America.
Okay, and then this when this core is done, we don't even need to war them. Go explore South Atlantic coast. Go explore Pacific South America. <laughs> Call my diplomats back. I'm going to want one for um, fabricating on the Incans. Go explore. What is this called? I can't tell. Pacific South America coast? Yes. Now you can do wherever, because it doesn't matter. These down to here. And then here. Okay, we've got our person to get a claim on. And then just in case that doesn't work. Damn it. I can't do these guys. Oh, but I could do you. That would work. <sighs> yeah, we're doing one that's a bit quicker and the one that's a bit less stress because I'm still like I woke up and my head was still a bit like groggy and tired somehow. Advanced old age obviously catching up with me slash staying up too late watching Dark Young's birthday stream because it was real good. Staying up much too late. Watching his's and cows. Although I missed the vote for cows, so I'm a bit sad. If I was there, I could have made it be diamond, pearl, platinum. Like it should be. Uh, raise the autonomy, we don't actually care. All it is for us is a place to use to increase our colonial range to over here. Very good. And then you here. And then here. Split in half. Don't suffer needless attrition. Then dump these out there and then we're done. Good morning, Boom. Okay, jump out. We're getting real, real close, and then I've got to work out who we're going to throw to, because it's dinner time for Blobber once we're done with this. Uh, yeah. Split in half, and here. If you can make it back up to this before you explode, then great. If you don't, I'm not going to shed any tears. Get our colonist ready. So that as soon as that core finishes, we can send our guy here. And we're not going to do multiculturalism because I'm too hungry. <laughs> I want dinner. We'll, we'll do multiculturalism another day. Also, we could possibly actually already do multiculturalism. Confucian. Jingzhui. Sunni. Uzbek. We would need Buddhist or Hindu.
The trouble is we have so many Confucian provinces that the odds are very low that we get this, and I don't think I have a... I do have one Catholic province. Yep, Europe and Africa are already done. Look at our glorious tentacle. All the way to here, in case we needed to get across to Africa here, but we used here instead. Okay, that's done. Send you here, get claim. Ottomans could be good for that. Mm, you've got Orthodox, Sunni, you've got one Shia, you could eat the blob of Coptic. But number four is going to be tough to get. Whereas if you do it, if we do it again as Ming, eat this, eat that, give up most everything else. And we've got Confucian, Pig, VJ, Mahayana. And then it's just a case of getting four cultures as well. I think Ming is the, the way to do it. I truly do think Ming is the way to do that. He might even give me my threat now. Could you get out the way? Done. We own a province on every continent. You don't have to call them. That's not necessary. Double checking. South America. North America. Asia. Africa. Europe. Afro-Eurasia. Oh, and Oceania. Yes, Oceania. And North and South America. Cool. 